Welcome back to the Potted Together podcast. My name is Adam, and as always, I'm joined by my beautiful, wonderful, amazing co-hosts, Becca and Nicole. Ooh, hey. Hey, ladies. Hello. Um, today, we're talking about the plants we currently hate. <laughs> Flashback to Becca being like, I love all my plants, except, except for this one. This one. <laughs> Literally, it's just like it's a moment in pop, pop culture history. Seriously, yeah, it will live on oh. forever. <laughs> but my fear is with this episode is that all of these plants we mentioned are going to like pop off because that's what happens. You shame them and they're like, oh, bet. Yeah, <laughs> like Figgy Smalls. Perfect yeah. candidate for this, you know? Yep, yep. Oh, yeah. And she really showed up and showed out. She did. Yeah. She said Bet. She's back on her bullshit, but does does she understand that Becca and I fought for her because you were gonna just keep her out there? Yeah, I yeah. played the episodes for her. That's what encouraged yeah. her to do her do the most. But yeah. do the most. She said Becca. someone's rooting for me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not me. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> if she has one fan, it's me. If she has no fans, I'm, I'm dead. dead. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, and- we'll- <laughs> what? Were you just gonna, gonna try to take over? I was gonna transition. <laughs> okay, no, that was funny because I was like, "Oh yeah, good, she's transitioning." But then you were like, "Wait a minute, it's not my episode," so we just went. Oh. Yeah, I'm like, mm, I clammed up. Well, <laughs> okay, we we gotta talk about our ketchups. Well, we catch up every episode. The girls that know know. Mm-hmm. Um, so. Nicole. Yeah. You were going to talk about something and then you're like, wait, I'll save it for the ketchup. So let's. You know uh, it's good if she's going to save it. Let's yeah. anxiety dump on yeah. everyone. How do you know it's anxiety? Because you know me so well. Because it's you. Because <laughs> it's me. And before we hit record, I was like, oh, guys, uh, I'll save it for the ketchup. But I hate being a parent sometimes. <laughs> I hate the way our brains work. And Becca's like, oh, so it doesn't get better. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Okay, just quickly, quickly, because I'm going to think about it too much. But Mia's going on vacation with her dad. Okay. And those who don't know, I was once married, divorced. So he has a whole other family, well, wife and Mia. And they're taking a road <laughs> trip to Canada. Oh, <laughs> fun. Yeah. I well, mean, I'm, Canada. I'm very excited for her. They're going to go to Niagara Falls. So they're going to stay in. Ontario, oh. Toronto, Toronto. They're gonna. Well, that's in Ontario, right? I don't know Canada very well, I think but so. I, I think so. They're gonna be staying near there, uh, and then they're going to Quebec. And this is all Ooh. happening within like a five day period. So lots of driving, lots of. Being oh, on that's the like road. your. That's your biggest trigger is driving. It, it is my biggest trigger as a mom, <clears throat> and she's going to be out of the country. It's a it's a great country to be to be in, but. Yeah. Um, and I I'll go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Take me up there. I'm very excited, though, for her because she was like, hey, do you think I can, like, use one of your cameras? And I was like, girl, you came to the right place. I got some cameras. Aww. <laughs> so Aww. I gave her my Sony, the camera I first started filming YouTube vid- videos on. And I, like, showed Aww. her how to work it. And so she leaves Sunday. It'll be okay. Do you have Do you have Life 360 or no? Is I that downloaded that it guys- two days ago. In okay, preparation so for this trip. It does tell you how fast they're going, but I'm worried that you shouldn't do that because you're going to be texting <gasps> okay. your ex and you're going to be like, um, the Slow road that down. you're on is currently 65. Why are you going 72? <laughs> so it's funny that you mentioned that because I don't think I knew that. But Jay, I told Jay, I was like, I'm downloading Life 360. Like, why don't you join our circle? We can watch me up. Well, he's like... So why are you doing that so that you could text Scott and you could be like, why are you going 90 miles an hour? And I was like, oh, (laughs) I'm going to have to overlook that. I'm going to have to overlook it. He's a good driver. Amanda's a good driver, her stepmom. So we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Mm -hmm. I I may or may not have texted our friend Bree and was like, so what are you doing Sunday? Do you want to come over? (laughs) Because... 
<laughs> I need a distraction. Yeah, I need a distraction because Jay's also going to New York tomorrow for a couple of weeks. So I'm going to be by myself. Oh, for a couple of weeks. Yeah. Yeah, he's visiting his family nice. and friends and stuff. So, and he's driving out there too. Listen, listen, I'm going to need alcohol probably. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need something stronger than that. I don't know. I, yeah. <laughs> A good Lifetime movie? I don't know, but... So Jay's driving to New York. You guys really don't love flying, do you? <laughs> no. No, we don't. <laughs> He's... Well, he doesn't really care. He doesn't mind as much, but... He's driving because he wants to bring like all his camera equipment and he's not mm. sure exactly how long he wants to stay. So like he doesn't want to go out there with like limitations. He hasn't been out gotcha. there in like a year and a half, I think. So he he's focusing on like meeting up with old friends and seeing his family and mm-hmm. yeah. So getting I'll- re-inspired. Yes. Question. Yeah. So the train is the train. You live in a place where the train is a thing. Like yeah, no, we don't take I, the train. I took the train from Chicago to New York, oh. and I didn't buy a sleeper car because I was like, I'll sit in coach because coach was comfortable. That was the mistake. If I would have had a sleeper car, loved it. I love the train. Observation are we talking, car. Are we talking about Amtrak or are you talking yeah. about the recent like train things going on in New York? I'm talking. I'm talking about Amtrak. Amtrak. Okay. 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 <laughs> We've never taken Amtrak, but I'm intrigued to take it like to the West Coast. I wouldn't take it east, but I would I would do like a mountain view. Oh, Amtrak well, I mean, thing. You, you you do go through mountains on the East Coast. Just, you do. Just saying there there is mountains. You're right. Pennsylvania is pretty. <laughs> but seriously, if you ever do a train trip, like a long train trip, get the sleeper car. It mm-hmm. feels very expensive, like literally way more expensive than an airplane ticket. But yeah. your meals are included in that, and you don't have to deal with Gen Pop. Do you have to deal with like <laughs> luggage stuff too? Like, do you, are you only allowed a certain amount of luggage, or no? It's like a um, plane. In my experience, yeah. you just like it's like fifty pounds, and you can check it. Mm. Yeah. At least when you sit in Gen Pop, I've never sat in a sleeper car, but Gen I Pop. took <laughs> I took a train from Charlotte to Raleigh, and then Raleigh to Charlotte in North Carolina. It mm-hmm. was great. It was so easy. Like mm-hmm. yeah. 10 out of 10. Um, but I'm planning a trip with my friend in July and we're planning on going up the East Coast. And I was like, well, let's just take a train because otherwise we'd have to rent a car, you know. Yeah. So I'm like, let's get a freaking train ticket because that's a thing up let's there. Get yeah. Get on a freaking train. Cool. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. That'd be cool. I love the East Coast. I've never been. Yeah. We're okay, going to go so to New York. You've never <gasps> been to New York. Yep. I've The most east I've ever been was, well, I went to North Carolina, but I've never been above North Carolina. Wait, is your, friend, a, you... is your friend a plant girl? No, but she's Although... like patient for me to like them, you know. Okay. Because girl, the plant shops in New York, 10 out of 10, chef's yeah. kiss. Yeah. yeah. I definitely will Are be you... perusing. Are you going to go see a show? What are you going to do in New York? I need to know all Broadway. the deets. We haven't thought about what we're going to do at all. But we're we're both like, we want to see it, but we don't want to spend a lot of time there. So it's like, we're going to hit the big things probably and then be like, getting out. Nothing against New York, but we're both not big city people. Like mm. big, big city, like New York City. Um, But yeah, I don't know. We haven't, we've just like confirmed that it's happening in July and. Okay. So we have to kind of go from there. And she's like trying to figure out where she wants to go. She's from Australia. So she's coming a long Ooh. way. So we're going to try wow. to hit a lot of places. And like, Oh, your, your EMT friend. Yeah. Yeah. She's a, actually, she's a paramedic. Paramedic. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. It's funny because I was recently going through our entire back catalog to put insertion points for ads and stuff. Oh, yeah. And I came across the episode where you like pooped four times in a row and you were like, I texted my friend because I was like, is this okay? <laughs> So that's Boy, the we friend. really do put some shit on the internet, don't we? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> that's embarrassing. <laughs> what happens on the pod is like gone as soon as I say it. Like, I don't really I say anything. I'm like, wow. I know. No wonder people like feel so familiar when I meet them and they say they listen to the pod. Like, oh, they have heard <laughs> some shit. Yeah. Yeah. That is oh. so true. Well, that'll be schedule. really fun. 
that will be yeah. new york i love new york but i also don't love the parts of new york that everyone goes to like times, times square, square that kind of new york but like Williamsburg and Brooklyn were so fun. Mm, yeah. Mm. Jay's Central Park is beautiful. Central Park. You'll like Central Park. James' okay. mom, uh, J- James' mom, Jay's mom is on the Lower East Side. So she's not far from Cats. Delicatessen is a big popular sandwich spot there. Mm. And the Williamsburg Bridge. Very cool yeah, spot. I walked across that. Wow. Levain Bakery. They have the best cookies. I've heard of that. I've had never been though. <sighs> All right. I need a I need a PDF document. Yep. For <laughs> both that you both have contributed to. Or we'll, we'll do one of those Google Docs that everybody can yep. contribute. That's really cool. But okay, anyway, Nicole. That's it. That's all I got. Uh, both of my Sunday's going to be rough. The two most important people in my life are taking very <laughs> long drives, and <laughs> I'm just going to be here, just here texting you guys probably. So if mm-hmm. you're, you know, you got something going on Sunday, I apologize in advance. But is this a bad time to tell you that Beck and I are actually driving together on Sunday <laughs> from Missouri to California? Please yeah, don't. We are meeting up in the car. <laughs> Okay, well, pick me up, bitches, okay? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I hope Brie comes over. She had something to do on Monday, but I was like, listen, I texted her. I was like, this is very out of character for me. She's only like three hours from me, so it's somewhat feasible for her if she doesn't have anything going on. So I'm waiting to hear back. So we'll see if she... She's probably like, wow, that is out of character for you. It's very short notice. Mm. But we'll Um, see. So maybe I'll have a distraction. Okay, anyway, Becca, so yeah, Becca, Becca. Becca, what's been going on in your neck of the woods? Jesus. <laughs> We're all like Did you guys forget about the patriarchy? Yeah. Uh, yeah, for a moment. <laughs> the I've been watching the Eras exist. tour for a while oh, for a lot of real days. Real quick in a about row. patriarchy though. I saw a TikTok the other day. Sorry to interrupt you, Becca. It's fine. We're um, in a, we we do live in a patriarchy. <laughs> but it was these two girls talking on <laughs> podcast and they said that uh Got, they were talking about gossip. Now, gossip is a little trigger for me because the old church slash cult I was involved in had a strict like no gossip rule. No, mm, of course. To a point of like no one can talk about anything, which is toxic and should have been a red flag to me because, yeah. But these girls were like, this is how we take down the patriarchy, gossip. Mm-hmm. Because like men have labeled gossip as bad because they just didn't want people to communicate. And so the girls were like, that's how we conquer the patriarchy. I was like, yes, let's fucking gossip. Mm-hmm. Let's it's an exchange it. of information. Yep. Yeah. As long as it's true, honest, and that's it. Factual juicy. and honest. Juicy. Yeah. I'm just kidding. And <laughs> above all juicy. Yes. Yeah. Above all juicy. Yeah. I feel like. The cheese may. The- <laughs> okay. But this plays into our favorite podcast or one of our favorite podcasts normal gossip where they talk about this is like a big part of the reason they started the show was like yeah for so long gossip was not allowed because it was something that women did and it was how they exchanged information uh i have since <sighs> overcome that f- belief that gossip was bad because honestly it's just exchanging information yeah and a lot yeah. of time it's helpful yeah um okay what have i been up to so glad you asked i <laughs> Today, <laughs> went back out to the greenhouse. <gasps> yeah. It was a moment. Yeah. Was a moment. Listen, I saw it in person. It looks great. Thank you. I know you probably see it and you just see all the things you have to get done, but it looks great. Yeah. Thank you very much. you should much. be proud of yourself. But yeah, continue. It, it is a very proud thing. A, pri- a, mo- a point of pride. I don't know. I am proud of it. It is just annoying that it has taken so long, but I'm not even going to focus on that. I'm going to focus on that. I went back out there. Elizabeth came over and helped me. And she, Elizabeth is a freaking tank. She is such a good worker. Like she comes over (laughs) and she's like, what do you need done? And then she just does it. Like we were putting up the vent and she's like, well, while you do that, like I'm going to go move the rock. So she moved like over a thousand pounds of rock. Today. Oh my God! See, that's the friend. Those are the Damn. friends you need. A hundred percent. Like, and she knit you a fucking wool sweater. And like, she I knit need me an sweater. Elizabeth. I know everybody yes. needs an Elizabeth. Like, not yes. only can she move rock like a beast, she can like knit, and also great for conversation. Anyway, 
So gossip. She could gossip. We yes, we we chatted about the Kate Middleton situation because she <sighs> likes the queen. So I was like, I've been dying to know what you think. And so she told me her take and like we chatted about it. That is a whole thing that I cannot escape on the internet is Kate Middleton and me all of the things going me on. Me neither. Me neither. So, I mean, at this point, just leave her alone. I don't know. Something's <laughs> clearly going on. Just let her be for a second. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I came across a TikTok from somebody in England that was like, we don't care about this like you guys do. Like, this is pretty normal operating procedure. And like, yeah, we're worried about how shitty our government is we're worried about health care mm-hmm. i'm Same. like yeah we should be worried about those things too but no we're yeah. all like where is kate we're yeah. in denial yeah. we included because i'm like full on in the conspiracy theories and i'm like what am i doing mm-hmm. yeah. get out of here yeah yeah anyway well yeah so that's that was today and after this i'm gonna go back out there and keep going because now i'm on this roll i'm back mm-hmm. in it so oh yeah so you got the vent did you say the vent? Yeah, that was one of the biggest things that I did not want to do was that freaking vent. Yeah, and you got it done. We got it done, got it installed, <gasps> got it plugged in. Let's it works go. great. I'm so yeah, excited. We don't have Adam's soundboard applause, but insert Ugh. applause here. But yeah, that was basically my day and probably my week because well, the rest of my week today is Wednesday. So yeah, I'm excited the next two days. Awesome. Yeah. You've kind of been on a roll. I'm 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 getting the energy from Instagram that the sun's out, Becca's out, you know, mm-hmm. like we're getting shit done. Yeah, that is actually my life. The sun's out, Becca's out because mm-hmm. when it's cloudy, I feel like I'm I'm cloudy. Yeah. And it just I feel no motivation and yeah, the sun's been really great for me mentally to have that back. Good. Spring's yeah. almost here. That's good. The daffodils are blooming, you guys. I, I, I would think say the spring, spring is, is here. here. I think first day of spring already happened. Yes, did it? <gasps> yeah. I missed it. Wow. Okay. Well, happy spring. Ooh. Happy spring. It's like 35 um, degrees here today, but that's okay. Sun's out. <laughs> a red circle who hosts our podcast posted an image of our podcast let's talk hoya which i feel is like oh and what? bloom and grow with maria basically saying like spring happy first day of spring here so oh yeah. my god oh, that's great that's so sweet that's so good yeah. congratulations yeah congrats <laughs> so Insert applause well, no. here. it was us too so congrats to you guys as well wait huh? ours yeah, it was potted together. Let's talk Hoya and Bloom and Grow. Oh, Bloom. oh, you I didn't say you... our. You didn't say ours. You just said Bloom and Grow and Let's Talk Hoya. Well, he did say ours, I but I, I thought he said oh. ours as in Let's Talk Hoya only. Oh, oh well, look at us! Yay! Hey. Yeah, and it's all because Maria was like, "Hey, this is a platform I use, and like you guys should look at it." And and we did. Yeah, thank yeah. you, so, Maria. Shout out to true. Maria. Anywho. I'm back from vacation. Work has been hectic. It's really difficult to adjust back to a work schedule sometimes. Yeah. yeah, it's like you got back Saturday, but even getting back like with a day to spare, I still feel is like you're just lagging, you know, that yeah. first week. Yeah. And there is a little bit of like the time difference issue because like we're th- we were three hours behind Florida time. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. That East Coast oh, time zone. Dang. Mm-hmm. But vacation was wonderful we went on a cruise icon of the seas giant ship lots to do what was your favorite part of it do you have one i think my favorite part was swimming with the sea turtles because it was just like it just happened we were just in the water and all of a sudden there's a turtle like Um, that's so nice and that water was so crystal blue too it -hmm. was Unlike in Curacao, when we swam with the turtles, where they were like chumming the water, and then when I realized that, I was like, "Um, <laughs> sharks!" That was freaking. That's when I saw the snake. Remember, <gasps> screaming yes. in my snorkel. You screaming in the snorkel. Oh, no snakes this time, <laughs> thankfully. Good, good. Screaming um, in the snorkel. <laughs> I was like, Arr! "You can hear I the think, bubbles." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think just being on the ship too was was just such a cool experience. But there's so many shows on cruise ships, which is insane. But there was an ice skating show, which was really beautiful. Mm-hmm. The Wizard of Oz musical, oh. which was 
oh, amazing. Cool. I didn't see you post and it was about like a, that. Well, that one you're not allowed to film because it's actually like part of a Broadway kind of oh. product. You know, like the traveling Broadway shows. Yeah, mm-hmm. secret. There's a water show on a ship. That like, looked cool. People diving and like dancing in the water and all of the stuff. A magician we saw. We saw some comedians. That was fun. Like just tons of entertainment. Like good times. Good vibes. You know how you go on vacation and it usually like it'll rain or whatever. Like do you do you experience rain or like any not so nice weather on your cruise ship cruises? <laughs> It was kind of cloudy one day, um, but no, not on this one. There was no rain. I have had a couple of days where there have been rain. Because the cruise ships kind of look out to avoid that, right? Like if there's a bad storm, will they not go out? Uh, I think they still go. Oh. They just kind of, they will try to avoid them. Okay. The ship did have a central park though, like that one ship that I went on a couple of years ago mm-hmm. where it was like greenery. Mm-hmm. And they had a, they had a brandy, a fill an engine brandy, brandy. Oh, I Adam. saw that. Yeah, I saw your picture. Gorgeous. Oh, yeah. And it was like, and the thing is, I can't wait to see what that's going to look like in a year because they had it like creeping up around support poles mm-hmm. that they put a trellis around, and you could still see a lot of the trellis. But I think in a year, that thing's going to be fully covered. It's just going to be like you won't see anything but brandy, brandy. That's Adam. so cool. And there was four green walls on the ship. Wow. And they didn't do like the ship before where they had like monsteras and bigger plants in there. They just had basically ground cover plants mm-hmm. on the green walls and they designed it really beautifully. But I did see Enjoy, which made me think of you, Becca, like the Enjoy mm. always does. Mm. But I was like, that was also something I have never seen like in the in a park area for like the, the ships, because there's a couple of ships that have this central park, but the plants aren't usually like those kind of recognizable house plants like they use mm-hmm. ground cover they use chiflera but they actually had like enjoy they had the heart heartly philodendron or like lemon lime um they had a lot of peperomias as ground cover oh, it was cool. really cool that's cool that's really cool yeah. so that's one of my fave spots on the ship plus there's like a jazz and blues club out there so like you just hear jazz and blues playing Ooh. as you're just like around all these trees and stuff it's on a freaking ship it blows that's my great. mind how many things are on a ship like it's literally a moving city a sailing city whatever they say big time yeah like how much all of that weighs alone is just insane like and it just it yeah. floats still somehow 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 it's like the plane scared. we're not going to talk uh. about that <laughs> we're not talking about it um we did go for this cracked me up but i just remembered this we went for lunch and azumi which is like this japanese like sushi restaurant in in it's in central park too mm. it's like one of the restaurants there and the hostess her name was ping when she sat us she looked at steve and she goes "Ooh, he's a pretty boy <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear her say it, but then Steve told me she said it, but she kept being like, he's so handsome. He's a pretty boy. He's oh a pretty God, boy. Oh my God, that's so About sweet. Steve or about you? About me to Steve, like oh. being like, you, you're lucky. Oh, okay. Okay. So now he just has to like walk around being like, hey, pretty boy. Oh. You're like, <laughs> like put your hair behind your ear. Yeah. Me? <laughs> I that's prefer funny. metrosexual. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that whole phase? Just kidding. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, I, I had a boyfriend that my parents called metrosexual because he wore really tight jeans. Really? <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> and wore lots of hair gel. <laughs> I mean, they weren't wrong. Just, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that boy gay now? I don't know. That got flung my way a lot because I dressed nice and. Mm-hmm cared about like how i looked so i was like oh he's so metro i'm Mm -hmm. like no i'm gay (laughs) there's a difference Mm -hmm. i'm a homosexual (laughs) anyway uh should we should we get into the top oh god that was so abrupt i'm whiplash but yeah i guess (laughs) i whip my hair back and forth okay yeah i'm ready i'm ready to toss these plants out Modventures believes that tax savings begin with clean accounting. 
According to a 2021 study, 77% of small business owners admitted that handling income taxes was very or moderately burdensome. We know as business owners ourselves that this whole tax stuff is not easy and is usually better when left to the professionals. Mod Ventures makes taxes and accounting less stressful, more manageable, and actually saves you money. So if you're tired of being behind in your accounting, losing opportunities to save money, and wasting your own time doing all of your own books, schedule a free consultation with Mod Ventures through the link in our bio. I have a whole section at the front of my plant room and a little table that I also need to throw away of plants that I need to give away badly. Wait, 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 though what table you're throwing away because you were going to throw away the Hoya shelf and we oh. resurrected it. No, this is, it was my coffee table and it's very wobbly. Like it cannot be fixed. Like it's not it's even by, done. okay. Not even by Becca. De La Plants. Uh, Girl, you no. built a kitchen. <laughs> like, yeah, okay. I, it, I could, but like, I don't want to. You don't want it. I don't have, okay. I don't have any use for it. It's kind of just extra. Like the Hoya shelf. I'm like, that's great. And I was sad to part with it if I needed to, but mm-hmm. this, I'm like, eh, get rid of it. Put it in the burn barrel for done. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But there's like gotcha. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plants over there that I'm like, got to say goodbye. Um, okay. Well. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go through them. Let's go through them. Who we tossing? Well, <laughs> most notably, I have my El Choco Red, my philodendron El Choco Red. Oh. Mm. Listen, I'm done. I've. <laughs> it's been in the cabinet and it's been a one leaf wonder in the cabinet. I'm wow. done. Wow. Listen, I'm if done. you can't if you can't thrive in the cabinet, you better get yep. the fuck out. <laughs> I I got an El Choco from Natalie and it That's lasted. That's the title though, right there. <laughs> if you can't thrive in the cabinet, get the fuck out. A hundred percent I agree, because it's like the most optimal conditions and you're still not doing well. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> My, I think mine lasted like a, a total of one week. I'm pretty sure it's the old choc- choco red. And I texted her and I was like, so this is what's left of it. And it was like a stick. And she's <laughs> like, that's okay. Mine died too. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good. It's. <laughs> I didn't realize it was such a picky plant. Like my philodendron so are really happy. Generally, I haven't. I don't have any issues with philodendron. But that one, I'm like, bitch, like get over yourself. I don't know what's going yeah. on. Um. Also in that pile is my whale fin, Dracaena mm. sansevieria. I wow. just don't. I'm done. It's just boring. Like a lot of them, they're fine and healthy. It's just they're just boring and uh, taking up space. And I want more exciting plants to shine. Mm-hmm. So yeah. another one, my variegated epipremnum pinnatum. Boring. Oh. oh. <laughs> boring. B- boring. 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 <laughs> She is not doing it. And then both of my ZZs, I'm sad, but like at the same time, they're just boring and I can rebuy them if I want. Yeah. Yeah. And then a Monstera Deliciosa baby, which I might pot in with my big one, but I also might just be like, yeah, I'm done. I, saw I don't that think you one. need to pot it in with your big one. No, no. I'm done. Someone, no. It'll make somebody yeah. somebody really happy. Just like all those other plants. Because it's funny that you say the ZZs and I'm like, ooh, I like want to get a very big ZZ mm-hmm. Raven for, my, mm-hmm. for the basement because they do really well in low light and they're Dang. low maintenance. But you know what I mean? Like, Can I, I send you mine? You want it? No, that would be too much. No, you just no. But you would just you take it if I sent it to you? I mean, I, I would, but I don't. Nicole, I'm happy to send it to you. In fact, it, sending it to you or <laughs> listing it on Facebook, finding a person to buy it, then t- getting a meetup space. It's like I could do that, like five steps, or I could slap it in a box, put your address on it, and send it to you. Like that's well, way easier. If that's what you want to do, I will happily pay for shipping, but it. If and that's, that's an easy much, one to ship. If that's too much, you don't do that. Hey, you just look out for the next in the next couple weeks. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and you know what? This is special because it keeps it in the loop because some of those yeah. pieces were from Adam from a plant swap. So it stays in in the ecosystem. The fam. Yeah. yeah. In the ecosystem See, in the in the triangle. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I really want. So you want... were just gonna give away my ZZ plant <laughs> See, I knew you were to some say random <laughs> to on some Facebook. Random person. No. Just okay. I cast hold... it away. <laughs> I've been holding <laughs> like on to it <laughs> because of the sentimental value of my part no, of it from it. you. But then I was like, would Adam want me to like have this huge plant burden? No, he wouldn't. So I'm just gonna part no, with I it. No, I wouldn't. No, he would not. <laughs> also. Adam at one point gave me a philodendron squammy. Oh, which yep. Nicole, is that in the pile? Do you want it? <laughs> <laughs> well, this okay. episode is just showing all of our true colors. <laughs> it was years ago you gave it to me. Like, I moved with it, and it just still is the same and size, just, basically. I'm like, <laughs> as I, a grown? I can't. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm done. I will take it. As long as it doesn't have thrips, I'll take it. It does not have thrips. I'm done. I mean, Uh, it's not growing. I'm offended. Okay. Thrips doesn't make them not grow. Thrips makes them disintegrate. (laughs) Yeah. I would have known if it had thrips a long time ago. You're right. Oh. Gosh, do you remember that? Do you remember that squammy ferment that we went that first plant shop we went to in Kansas City, Kansas? Roots was it the coffee shop? Yeah, it wasn't Roots. It was not wait, Roots. The other place. I know what you're talking about. Shoot, what was it called? They had a beautiful squammy not something the coffee house shop one? garden house. Oh, okay, yeah. Anyway, squammies are cute, but. Yeah, get rid of it. I'll take Especially it if, if you want to put it in that same box. I do. I will give it to you happily. See, that alleviates... Do you want the variegated epipremnum? Sure. You know, I was just at your fucking house. I know. I know. <laughs> Can I see the variegated epipremnum? Yeah. I don't. I guess I don't really know which one you're talking about. Hold on. Look at that rat tail, though. She want oh. that still? I'm just kidding. <laughs> that thing... <laughs> Well, I don't it want is, you putting it in a box with a fucking pole, though. Plant. No, put that on Marketplace. Because that is attached, isn't it? Okay, sorry. It is attached, but it's going to need a moss pole extension. Okay, should I just keep it? Uh. No, you go with your instinct. Yeah, go with your instinct. Put it on it's just, Marketplace. It's just kind of ugly, oh isn't it? I don't think it's, it's not ugly. ugly. Someone will think it's beautiful, but I think it's ugly because, because that's just me. <laughs> It's, it's not, not ugly, plant. but I think it's ugly. <laughs> like, like, yeah, this, having the see if I was Jake the plant guy or Sydney plant guy, I'd be like, yeah, this is gorgeous. But like, who has that time? I know who has. Do we think the that time? Put in that effort? Do we think that their plants are AI? I'm just no, kidding. I'm just not. kidding. <laughs> I'm a they're fucking so... obsessed with both of their Instagram pages. Yeah. Yeah. That I'm shocked that that has attached to that wood though. It's done it like three separate times. I'm surprised because I haven't had any other plant attached besides that one. Wait, is that the reason you're questioning giving it away because it's attached? <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, wait, the plank did what it was you're supposed like, wait, to do? You're doing Something it. Going right? Is it going to okay, we'll keep it if you want cool? to. I don't know. It needs an extension though because it's attached right at the tip of the wood. I'm like, crap. Now I have to yeah. figure out how to extend it if I want it to continue like... Uh, you just installed a windowsill. Need I remind you? I yeah, I you I can this. do hard things, but I get it. Becky if you Cajon don't... knows her way around a piece of wood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's for Patreon. I just pictured uh, like a stripper pole made out of wood, <laughs> and then getting like splinters. I want to also just reiterate that like. If it is too much to ship it, don't do that. And like, if it's too much to put it on marketplace and you just end up wanting to keep it, like go, just go with your gut, you know, do, do what you have time for and what makes you happy. Yeah. My gut is telling me to put it in a box and send it to you. That makes me feel better (laughs) because, okay, that's, that's the thing with selling on marketplace is it's a lot of mental energy because you have to, you have all these people messaging you. Is this still available? Is this still (sighs) available? Yes. Yeah, duh. Obviously, yeah. it's still up. It's available. Like, <laughs> oh, right. so I hate that. It's so annoying. I, when I message people, if you don't know what to say, just say, hi, I'm interested. When can I come get this? Yes. That's it. Do not ask if it's available. Anyway. But like, 
Facebook gives you like the pre-made messages asking yeah. if it's available. So I think most people just hit send. Yeah. Lazy. I have seen an uptick of Facebook marketplace activity on my Facebook. And I used to never see it. Like Becca, you mm. sold some uh, barge stools that I think looked amazing, but did they just not fit? Oh, I used to have them at my bar, but they I would I eliminated the bar in my kitchen, so I don't have a use for them anymore. I was so sad to part with them. Oh. I, was I don't so understand. Sad. I don't understand how marketplace works because my mom showed me. She's like, "Ooh, Becca's selling these bar stools," and I'm like, "I go on <laughs> Facebook. I don't see any of this shit." Mm-hmm. I was so awkward. Like I was like, "Oh, I just I hope you love them as much as I do." Like, why would I say that? why and she's like oh like why aren't you keeping them and i was like oh you know they just don't fit in my house anymore and i'm really sad about it and i can't keep them she's like (laughs) (laughs) i love them it was 100 percent like a foot in my mouth situation it felt it it felt a lot worse than how i'm describing it because like there was a lot more pauses because i was like you're a four yes because i was like oh shit i shouldn't have said anything and so i was like pause and i was like shit well i have to say i I can't just say that and then not say anything else like it was so bad (laughs) she's gonna get home and she'll be like fred you will not believe what happened yeah this girl was crying as i was loading these chairs up (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> there's this youtuber i follow who send me updates sold her house. <laughs> what oh send, send me updates me up. <laughs> send me pics um no there's this youtuber i follow where she <clears> sold <throat> she bought a house from a family and they were like really attached to the house and they're like they kept like showing up to the house after the sale was final and like driving by and like what at one point he like came into the house before they had like started renovations like it's like this whole crazy thing and i'm just like holy shit that's so (sighs) weird yeah 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 okay anyway those are my plants that i want to give away i (laughs) that was a huge tangent that was fun and now i'm getting some plants so this is exciting (laughs) yeah maybe Um, they'll be on your list in a couple months but we'll see do you want to hear what i'm gonna replace them with because these bitches are on the way out okay yeah my hoya australis Okay, this mm. plant... Green form or the Lisa, the variegated? Green form. Okay. This plant has... I bought it as a full plant. It was a beautiful full plant. I got it from Plant Shop Chicago like three years ago. Okay? hmm Started to... I had it outside. Probably a mistake, but it like exploded outside. Like it loved it. It was like last few months of summer. Then I brought it in, got super pissed, started dropping leaves like crazy, which happens, right? But it got so thin that I was like, okay, this looks awful now, and I'm just going to chop it up and propagate it. So that was probably like a year later. I dealt with it being leggy. And it's been in a prop box for probably a year, not even joking. So the other day, I finally decided to take it out of the prop box. I put... I posted like a reel of me looking at the roots and they were thick and it looked so good in the prop box. (laughs) I took it out, repotted it (laughs) and it's just dying. Like every day Mm. I pick off dead leaves. I was like, I am so done with this plant. Did you look at it under the microscope? Just. I did. It didn't have any mites. Not that I saw no flat mites. But like I said, it was thriving in the, in the sphagnum moss and i'm like what okay yeah probably the humidity just give it up we don't need her i should have left it in the (laughs) prop box but it like outgrew the prop box you know anyway it is one of the very few hoya that originate from australia though oh of course i wasn't sure based on the name yeah yeah anyway she's a goner (laughs) just if you want to make me, if you want me to make you feel bad, like oh, one of the only Australian. No, just kidding. <sighs> but you know what? You can still get. I mean, they're not. Oh yeah. hard they're not find. hard to find. No, yeah. no. Not that I would do it again. But anyway, I feel like that is just a theme in plants that we hold on to. It's like why it's not hard to get it again if we want it again later. Like just yeah, pff, yeah. Part with it. I f- I felt like I've had like i had this obligation though to to get it to where it looked when i purchased it mm. <laughs> which is what i feel like we go through a lot when our plans decline it's like okay what can we do to get it back to where it was and give it up nicole mm. um 
my string of turtles, my string of turtles is still alive. It's still growing, but the new leaves on this plant are microscopic. It's pissing me off. Like, is it under girl lights? Yes. That's why. Yeah. Is it really? too much light? <laughs> too much light will produce small leaves. So if you pulled it away from light, but well, <laughs> this isn't about this. This is never mind. What? Get rid of it. I'm trying to tell you how to take care <laughs> oh, of it. Oh, no. I am I want it to, like, I'm going to try that. I'm going to pull it. I, these are not on a table that I'm ready to put on Marketplace. These are just plants that are pissing me off that I'm like, okay. if you continue to piss me off, I'm going to throw you away. But I really want you to do well. You <laughs> well know? That should be the title of the episode. If you continue to piss me off, I'm going to throw you away. That's yes, the title. There it is. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, it just just give it less light. Like there's a shelf on my my Hoya shelves. There's a lot of Hoya that don't like a lot of light. So they'll get chlorotic. The leaves will turn like a less vibrant green. Okay. So the bottom shelf on some of mine, I don't have a light. So it's just getting ambient light from like two shelves up. Okay. And that's where I put those plants. So if you have the opportunity to do that. Yeah, I do. I'll put it Or a top. space. Um, yeah, because yeah. it's growing. Like it's... It's growing, but like halfway down the stems, the leaves are just these little tiny little baby leaves and they don't, they're not getting any bigger like as it's growing. So I'm like, oh, you look like you belong in a fairy garden, you know? <laughs> mm-hmm. So I'll put her up. I'll move her up. Yeah. And see if, see if that produces bigger leaves. But usually it does. Less light will give you bigger leaves. Yeah. Um, but that's it. Those are the only two that I can think of that are really pissing me off. I'm actually quite in love with my collection right now. What about Figgy Smalls? Can we get an update on her? Well, Figgy has not produced a new leaf in the past couple of months, but she's, you know, the last few leaves she put out were pretty impressive. They're very big. Um, I was thinking of doing some like air layering though to get it to branch out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you know she's just a one stemmer right now, and I really would like it to like you know become tr- more tree form. But she's doing all right. I have a feeling since it's spring now, she's gonna you know I'll probably put her back outside. She seems to like that, so I'll put her back outside. <laughs> she might be the only plant I bring outside this year, you guys. Tbh. Yeah. Wow. Um, back on the front porch. Yeah, I'll put her back on the front porch because it's shaded, you know? Yeah. That won't be for a while, probably May, you know, Mama's Day. But yeah, she's doing pretty good. That's that's good. Yeah, I'm not dead. Um, <laughs> I feel like I have so many plants that I am just like, when I go and do my chores, I'm like, Ugh, I don't care about this plant anymore. But it's really difficult for me to get rid of a growing, like a full very healthy plant yeah mm-hmm. yeah that's where i struggle and listen on the other podcast that i'm on let's talk hoya we got to interview doug chamberlain which in the hoya world do you guys remember you guys know doug chamberlain he like does youtube videos he's like the hoya master his yes. website's vermont vermont hoyas i listened to that I episode us- that you interviewed him in yeah i usually go to his website whenever i'm thinking about getting a new hoya because he really just tells everything but i wanted to ask him because this guy has a seemingly endless amount of hoya i was like what do you do when you're like not in love with the plant anymore literally he tosses it over the back fence wow just and i was like right okay back fence. you just gave me permission because like he's literally like if he flowers a hoya that he doesn't care about he just you grows it to flower it and once it flowers it's gone wow. right out the door Wow. Unless there's like a personal attachment or somebody, it's something that he really likes. And I'm like, ugh, I need to have that attitude. Yeah. But not, I don't know. That's hard. But checking it over the fence it is, is, is a bold move. Yeah. Sure. yeah. What do the neighbors feel about that? <laughs> he said he used to back up to a river. So it just like went into the river. Wow. Wonder wow. if so it rooted. If it like yeah, somewhere in- along the river, there's probably like tons of Hoya growing. Where does he live? <laughs> Uh, well, maybe not Vermont. So like, I think oh, okay. it gets I feel like they would it die froze. in the freeze. Yeah. 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 But particularly Lacanosa, you know, I went a bit ham during mm. the Lacanosa craze. You did. And yeah. I have a ton of trailing plants 
and it just looks messy to me like i know some people probably look at the shelves and be like that's so like lush but like when i look at them i'm like ugh, it's Mm. just mess you know yeah Mm -hmm. so yeah i don't know i can i don't have like a ton of plants that i'm particularly thinking of right now Mm -hmm. but there are quite a few like big leafy hoyas that have grown pretty large that i'm just like if you weren't here i would have more space for other things yeah yeah and what's wrong with just chucking them because then you can (laughs) i've been thinking about that with my anthurium because it's like there's a few that i'm like it's growing Mm -hmm. but i'm not in love with it but i feel bad getting rid of it so i get it yeah but it leaves room for something else yeah are there any plants that are not Hoya that you're not feeling? Oh, yeah. Brave yet controversial. <laughs> oh. This is one of that was on the top of my list. My philodendron white wizard. I'm, <gasps> exactly. I knew. <laughs> <laughs> Becca is signaling with her hand to give me. <laughs> I and the the thing is I feel so much guilt because this is one of the first plants that I like was imported and then I have this point of pride of like all the plants I imported in 2018 are still in my collection kind of thing like oh look at me mm. I yeah, just but if it's not, don't care about that white wizard if you're not feeling it give it to Becca <laughs> <laughs> give it to Becca if honestly you're not feeling it, you're not feeling it. <laughs> it's fine it's- you, it's you fine. There's can this thing called give post office. plants away that don't serve you, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> this episode turned into what plants can we get from each other? <laughs> no, wait, though. Would, would you really want that? Yes. A, <laughs> yes. Loudly, yes. Okay. See, but then the newish leaves that came, it might just need to be chopped because the newish leaves that are pushing out are mostly all white. So I'm like, oh, you're just like wanting to die. That's what my fucking monster elbow is doing. It's pissing me off. <sighs> I mean, if there's anything for my collection, I can send to you. <laughs> but I don't have, um, you don't want my Hoya, so. Um... <laughs> well, but their flat might freeze, so maybe. True. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe you do. I mean, honestly, though, as we've discussed, shipping to somebody is work. So if it just feels like too much, the trash can, the trash can. Yeah. It's yeah. your trash. Just as I thought. Well. Trash. But yeah, I think for the most part, I feel pretty content. Um, I think that big pest breakouts, like we've talked about many times, really help ease the guilt of like tossing something and i've went through a couple of those yeah but it's just like i have all these tables of like little propagations that are usually duplicates of plants i already have and i just don't know why i do that why i do that because sometimes the second plant is getting to be just as big as the first one yeah and it's like well why did i why did i do that Mm, i don't know it's almost like you're too and, and I don't mean this in like a, I'm not trying to make a joke, but it's almost like you're too good at taking care of them that they just keep growing and you're just like overwhelmed with all of the plants that you have. I mean, yeah. Like all of the, yeah, all the plant material that's just materializing because <laughs> you're just yeah, so good and at I mean, like, this. <laughs> and any surface that can like have something on it, I'm like, oh, I'll just put you here. Yeah. And that's stressing me out. That mm-hmm. is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it seems like we need to all take a little trip down to Phoenix. I'm just kidding. We could clear your shelves <laughs> just, off for you. Just Road come trip. shopping. Yeah. Road trip. Honestly, I have been thinking a lot about like a a plant garage sale. Yeah. Because the amount of terracotta pots and pots I have everywhere that I'm never going to use again that I just need to get rid of. Like, ugh. Do we have any more plants that we want to? No, I don't that those are the only two that I could think of. Honestly, if I was to bring you guys downstairs with me right now, I'd probably pick out like five to ten more that like are just not doing it for me. But I really don't feel like getting rid of anything. Like I'm happy with the size of my collection. It's it's doable. Like I watered everything yesterday within like an hour and a half, which is great. Mm. Um and I'm kind of focused on my cactus collection and like bringing that back to where it used to be because I don't have a ton of cactus anymore and I really like my little shelf area that I set up for them and 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like, even if I'm just not feeling a plant right now, I don't necessarily want to get rid of it. Like I'm not at that stage, but with those two, I I could be there. So, yeah. I see. And I have a couple Schlumbergera, like the Christmas cactus Mm -hmm. that every time I'm just like, I just need to get rid of this. Like, I don't really care about this anymore, but then it blooms and the flowers are peach. Oh, so pretty. So I'm not ever going to get rid of that. But I do go through cycles with that one. And my Euphorbia trigona, oh. it's like green and maroon. It's tall, it right? Got, it got so tall, I chopped it up halfway through. Like, I cut them all, like, just halfway really? across. And took a couple of them that looked good and propagated them. And it's now put out tons of new growth and getting tall again. And I'm like, what the heck am I going to do with you? But it's so pretty. Put it outside. Uh, but see, I, then it will die because I, when, if things go outside, I forget about them. And I know um, that I live in Arizona where like euphorbia and cactus will be fine, but like, I literally will forget about it. Yeah, they mm-hmm. do. Those still need water for sure. Yeah. So. Oh, mm. well, that's Put amazing. Your Joshua tree where your neighbor waters. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm <laughs> kidding. That Joshua tree has gotten huge. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. That's great. Seriously. But yeah. Anywho. Okay. Um, guys, audience, post some photos of some of the plants. You're just, eh. you know, actually, you might find some trades. <laughs> yeah, you might. Yeah, that's true. We want to, but we do want to know what you've been feeling just eh about lately. Uh, so don't forget to post a photo, tag us in it. You can tag us on our Instagram at Potted Together Podcast. Nope. At Potted Together. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I. why do I feel so weird saying the outro every time? I don't know. I, I think we make it like we have so we have like a block of information. And I feel like people are yeah. checked out at this point. So it's like, well, follow us on Instagram. We've got a Patreon. Yeah. All the info is there. It. And we love you. Check the description. Yeah. Thanks for joining <laughs> us. And uh, we'll talk to you next week. Bye. Bye.